you see the most recent one? There was a woman who was a model who was in a plane. Did you see that, Jamie? It just got released today. She got what they're calling some of the most compelling UFO video ever. She's flying in a plane in this silver thing. They freeze framed it. It looks like a flying disc. A model saw this? A model. She's just in a plane and filming out the window. And they had seen this thing apparently, and she's trying to film it, and it shoots by the plane. A model has shared what people are describing on social media as the best UFO footage ever. Valentina Rueda Velez, a Colombian model who uses the username Valentina Rueda Tavi on Instagram, was traveling on a private plane when she saw a bizarre looking object zoom past her window. Luckily, she was able to capture the object on camera just before it disappeared out of sight and the footage is unlike anything we've seen before. Did the Colombian model unexpectedly record the most convincing UFO footage ever released? What do ufologists have to say about the saucer-shaped craft caught in bright daylight against clear blue skies? Let's find out what the hype is all about. Valentina Rueda Velez, a Colombian model who has worked with the likes of Pretty Little Thing during her career, claimed to have seen a strange object pass by her window while flying on April 4th. Valez caught the object on camera and posted it on her Instagram. As you can imagine, the footage attracted a lot of attention on social media, and viewers were quick to call it the best UFO footage ever. The video shows a diamond-shaped object flying around 20,000 feet high against the clear blue sky. No one knows for sure whether it's a man-made object or a drone. However, the object fits the description of a saucer-shaped UFO too well to be ignored quickly. When UFO enthusiast The Hidden Underbelly saw the video online, they posted the clip on YouTube with the caption. In this footage, we get a clear view of this object, and this looks damn good. It seems to be a saucer-shaped craft. Other UFO enthusiasts were overjoyed because the footage looked gold standard compared to the usual UFO videos we get to see online. The comments section under the video quickly began blowing up, with one user writing, definitely looks real to me. It's always difficult to judge the size, maybe the size of a small car. It looked fairly close. Another commented, wow, that looks so real. Great catch, whoever took this video, very cool. After the video went viral, another claim surfaced on the internet. It was from the pilot Jorge A. Arteaga. He claimed that he was the one who shot the video, not the Colombian model. This is the video he shared on his ex account. Pilot Jorge A. Arteaga was swooping through the skies above Antioquia, Colombia, when he spotted something strange in his path. The sight before him was so unbelievable that it forced him to stop in his tracks. The pilot saw a strange dark object emerge through the clouds in broad daylight, thousands of feet in the air, and zoomed past the cockpit of the small plane he was flying. Arteaga was a smart one. He knew it would be impossible to convince people what he saw in the sky, so he juggled the plane's controls with his camera and captured the extraordinary moment. Arteaga and his co-pilot saw the flying object zoom past them in awe, and that was exactly how viewers reacted when they saw the video on Arteaga's Twitter account. The mysterious flying object became clearer as it approached the plane and appeared light in color. It looked pointy toward the front and round at the back. According to Arteaga's account, the object was initially stationary. Still, it started to float in the air between Medellin and Santa Fe before it suddenly picked up speed and beeline towards the plane. His co-pilot also spotted the object and kept an eye on it as it approached their aircraft. Arteaga was convinced that the object didn't look or behave like a balloon, drone, or plane. That's why he tried to follow the UFO, but before they could track it down, the object started moving towards them at alarming speed. Unsure of what the object represented, Arteaga decided to give up on the hunt and return to safety. But the pilot is still confident the object was not ordinary. He reasoned that it was too cold and turbulent to be a balloon. If it had been just that, the balloon would have popped or blown away at 12,500 feet in the air while flying that close to another aircraft. The UFO footage became viral and was picked up by ufologist Jaime Mossan, who famously unveiled two alleged alien corpses in Mexico last year. Mossan met pilot Arteaga and inquired about the sighting in detail. 
It didn't take long for Arteaga to blow Mausan's mind with the raw footage of the UFO. Sharing a snippet of their chat in a post on X, formerly known as Twitter, Mausan captioned the clip, We are facing one of the greatest UAP, UFO, evidences of all time, captured by the Captain Pilot Aviator at Jorge Arteagag. While Mausan may be a controversial figure after his Mexican alien corpses turned out to be DIY doll projects from Earth, he did get the reputed retired pilot Lieutenant Ryan Graves to analyze and validate the clip alongside him. Both of them reached the same conclusion. The object Arteaga saw and caught on camera was a UAP anomalous object, aka a UFO. This only confirmed Arteaga's conclusion that the object he saw was a something totally unknown, without means of propulsion, with movements that he considers intelligent. What do you think about the object Arteaga, his co-pilot and Valles saw? Was it a balloon, a drone, or something extraordinary? While you decide, here's the world's clearest UFO photograph, which has been hidden from the public for 30 years. The usual photographs of UFOs are grainy, dark, and often difficult to make out, but this one is as good as it gets. The image, dubbed the Calvine photograph, was taken by two unknown hikers in the Scottish Highlands. According to eyewitness accounts, the UFO hovered in the air for around 10 minutes before shooting upwards and disappearing. Since eyewitness accounts are always questioned for authenticity, this accompanying image really seals the deal. However, the picture's negative given initially to Scotland's Daily Record newspaper never made it out. Instead, it was passed on to the Ministry of Defence, who kept it under wraps until academic and journalist Dr. David Clark uncovered it three decades later. Dr. Clark reached out to former RAF press officer Craig Lindsay, who kept a copy of the photo after the story was investigated in the 90s. Craig even had the original envelope in which the Calvine photos were delivered. Why do you think the photo was kept hidden for over 30 years? What was the Ministry of Defense afraid of revealing? And where does this secrecy stop? Governments around the world have been trying to keep information about UFOs from the public for decades. What's shocking is that nothing has changed even after multiple whistleblowers have come forward and reported the government's involvement in concealing crucial UFO information. Quite recently, David Grush, a former US intelligence analyst, made headlines with his claims that the government was operating a classified program for decades where it retrieved alien spacecraft and even non-human biologics. On Grush's insistence, Congress initiated oversight hearings to examine the issue of UAPs, but he wasn't the only whistleblower to testify under oath. Several other military officials stepped forward and brought Congress's attention to the pressing concerns of UAPs invading US airspace. Testimony from these credible eyewitnesses and the surge in public and legislative interest in UAPs forced the government to take notice and formulate policies to protect UAP reporters. It was definitely hard to look the other way, as social media is full of video recordings of mundane objects moving at extraordinary speeds in the air without any visible means of propulsion. There has to be an explanation for these bizarre flying objects. Do you agree? Tell us your opinion in the comments below. Hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and press the notification bell for more videos.